Got it. He's done. Well, guys, I'm back at it with another rabbit hunt. I uh, got into this pretty heavy last winter, and this winter I've been going pretty hard too. So last um, fall, I made some brush piles on this property um, specifically for rabbits. I'm hoping that they're going to house some rabbits today. I haven't been out to stomp them or see if they're working at all yet, but uh, crossing my fingers, they're going to work. I got the dorky head cam on today. Um, <laughs> I'll take you guys along with me and uh, hope I can get lucky. Got it. I'm not sure if that's the same one that came across from there, but it might have been. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, there you have it, my first rabbit of 2022 right there it's a nice one too let's uh pouch them up and see if we can't find some more great rabbit oh i just heard one kick up over there too really nice one cool Well, I don't know if that was the same rabbit because I was coming this way and it was behind this little thicket and I'm assuming it ran up here and got behind this and that's where I got him. But we'll stomp around this a little bit and see if there's another one. But uh, they always hang out around all this kind of stuff. They like that heavy, thick cover that they can hide in. And I bet if we walk up in here, you'll probably see... There's a bunch of tracks right here. See all these tracks coming in and out of here where uh, they've been hanging out. This snow is only a couple days old and you can see all the tracks going through here, all rabbit tracks. So this is a good spot. And that looks like a rabbit hole right there. You can see all the tracks around there. There's a couple of them, fresh ones too. See, here's another hole with rabbit tracks coming in and out of it. So that's a good sign. Yeah, there's a there's another spot right there. Wow, this whole spot is rabbit city. There he goes, way over there. Oh, he's cutting down. See him, you guys? He's coming over the hill. <laughs> I'm gonna get this thing. I'm telling you. Where's he at? You guys think I'm crazy. He cut right down into this. Okay, he's in here somewhere. Okay, I got him. I just gotta figure out how to get into him. Man, oh man. Uh, it's been hard to connect, guys. That's number two, but it was ugly. Uh, a really nice rabbit there, too. Uh, beautiful. Check this out, guys. This is another little spot I made. You can see all the fresh rabbit poop and it looks like they've been feeding on these pieces of brush. You can see where this is all ate up, hopefully. 
that's kind of interesting these are all autumn olive bushes so maybe they like those the berries are good but looks like they like the wood as well there's one You guys see him going down and he's cutting back around right into that thicket. I didn't have a shot at him really. There's another one in here. Got it. He's done. And my gun didn't jam. Number three, yes. All right. Well guys, as you can see, I'm in the thick of it and the thicker you get in, the better your chances are here guys. So there's number three for the day. And we're doing pretty good. I was a little bummed at first. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right guys, so. I kind of stomp around here and see if I can't scare one more up. I'll give you guys a couple tips for rabbit hunting with no dog. Um, you can see it can be a blast, but um, you've got to be willing to put in the work. I mean, you got to get a pair of these good field pants because if you're not in the thickest of the thickest, on whatever property you're hunting you're not going to get any rabbits so a lot of times what i find happens is when you get into the really thick stuff it's uh it's hard to work through but it's hard for the rabbits to work through too so you know they slow down a lot and if you're bad at shooting like i am it uh, gives you a better opportunity so that's uh it's hard but it's the way that I've been the most successful, I guess, is getting into the thickest stuff where they can't run as fast as they can run because these things are so fast. And uh, yeah, that's tip number one. you kidding me? This gun, I want to throw it in the trash can. He was right there. And I didn't want to blast him this close. So I let him take off and the gun jammed again. Oh, it's discouraging. Tip number two. So as you guys saw, I hope with that one rabbit that I didn't get. It was almost in like a little lay down over some grass like this, okay? And I was six feet away from it and it still didn't jump up. So I think that a mistake I've made a lot is I go too fast and I skip little spots and they'll just hunker in and they won't kick up and it's a missed opportunity. So if you have a property that you're seeing lots of rabbit signs like I am right here, go slow and kick all these little spots because it could be in there just waiting for you to leave rather than running away 
All right, guys, tip number three. If you have property that's private property, don't be afraid to take a day in the summer and go make some brush piles around field edges or whatever property you have because I think, especially if you have some rabbits in the, in the area, it really helps them uh, stick around, gives them good cover, and it works. I mean, I just proved it today that it works, so get out there, make some brush piles. All right, I'm a bad YouTuber. I put my camera away and I was walking back to the truck and look at this absolutely beautiful rabbit. Wow, that's a big, probably the biggest one of the day. And that thing, you guys gotta see this. Ah, I was just poking through my brush that I made again. So that's two rabbits I got out of this brush pile. And I was kicking along in it, just like this. And I saw his eyes glowing. And I was within two feet away from him. And all of a sudden it's like he saw me and took off and I got a good shot on him. Finally, of course, the one time I get a good shot on a rabbit and I got the camera off guys. So that right there is the way to end it. Four rabbits, no dogs, a couple hours of hunting, stomping brush. And that is what it's all about. All right, guys, have a good one. All right, well, I'm tired. I'm out of shape, you guys. It's kind of embarrassing, but I, uh, what a good day. That And that's actually four rabbits. I don't even know how many I missed. And uh, I've been out for about two and a half hours. So it really is, uh, I don't think it gets much better than that. So hopefully you guys watch this video. It kind of gets you guys pumped to get out and stomp some brush chase after some rabbits and uh now all the thing left is clean them up probably make some rabbit stew out of these babies that is so good so i look forward to this time of year every winter for this and uh hopefully you guys really enjoyed the video hopefully some of this footage turned out it's hard when you got the head cam on but uh hey i made it happen if you guys like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel thanks for watching